So it's great, and also he's not a good traveler because he is travel impaired. It's a genetic condition. <laughs> he inherited from his parents. My in-laws are travel impaired. And how I did, I mean, they go places, they don't know how they got there. <laughs> and how I discovered about this uh, deficiency that they all have is, was very early in my marriage, um, at the time, uh, I had two small children. I mean, they weren't too small. <laughs> well, they could have been, because my in-laws are only like, yeah, my, my in-laws are so cute when they went to Disney World, they were not allowed on half the rides. <laughs> but how I discovered that they are traveling here is we were all, so it was early in our marriage, and I, I say I had two small children, because now I have three, I have two adult children and a 14-year-old. I, I, I know, it was a surprise to me, too. <laughs> Good surprise. But, um, so at the time, uh, how I discovered this is we were all invited to a bar mitzvah in Detroit. So my in-laws were invited, Fred and I, and the two kids, and also this uh, older couple from the neighborhood. And my kids were like two and three at the time. So we were invited. About six weeks before the event, my mother-in-law called me up. And she said, Karen, did you book a date at the, uh, you know, a room at the hotel yet? Because I called up, um, are you, and the suites are $275, and the regular room is $75, so what are you going to do? I said, well, then you know what? I'm, I'm just going to get a regular room. And she says, Karen, how are the four of you going to fit in a regular room? And I said, well, don't you know most hotels offer rooms with two double beds? She said, really? Hmm. I wonder if the Rosenbergs will want to share a room. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently the four of them got along swimming. <laughs> And Fred and I love different kinds of ethnic foods. And one day we're at my in-law's house, and we happened to mention that we had some great Thai food. And my mother-in-law says, ugh, Thai food seems so unappealing. Well, about six months later, they opened up in Skokie on Dempster Avenue. A, remember this? A kosher Thai restaurant. Remember what it was called? It's not that memorable, though. No. It was called... What? It, yeah, they closed so fast. It did, yeah. You couldn't even say the name of closed so fast. I'll tell you what it was. It was called Tadu. <laughs> now they're all discussing it, okay? And she's still doing it. That's what it is on Can I go on? I hate to interrupt. You're on a roll there. So anyway, so, so they open up to do, right? And um, two weeks later, my mother-in-law says to me, Karen, you'll never guess where I'm going with my girlfriends tonight. I'm like, where? We're going out for Thai food. I said, Thai food? I thought you said it seems so unappealing. She said, well, how can I say that if I've never tried it? I'm open. <laughs> so she goes out. I call her that night. I said, well... How was your Thai food? She tells me, oh, it was delicious. I said, really? What'd you have? She said, half a roasted chicken and a baked potato.